few weeks ago, I shared a budget chat with me video where I talked about how some of our budgeting plans had got skewed a little bit over the last couple of months. And well, today I am back to give you another update. Hey you guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to become a part of our community and our mission. So on this channel, I like to keep things real with you. So anytime I feel like things have changed or I wanna give you an update or just to keep it real, I like to film a video. So if you've not seen my budget chat with me video that I did a few weeks ago, I will leave that in a card above. So basically I shared with you in that video how like we had some car problems and Kate got a bid to Summit and a few other things had changed the way that we were budgeting and paying off things in our home. Well, I'm back with an update. And the update is that Kate will not be going to Summit in May. So in my last video, I shared with you how I was gonna start saving that money that was supposed to go to the flooring to save for Kate to go to Summit. Well, we had a few informational meetings with the parents and my husband and I both attended those meetings with an open mind with the I'm not really sure if we're gonna let her go or not we don't think this is a good idea but we're gonna be open to what they have to say so basically it was gonna cost a lot of money nothing was set in stone there was no set amount for the price the cost how much the coaching fees were going to cost if she had to have extra practice wear plus staying there and food and transportation and airfare and all of that so we we could not we're top the top people that look, we like to have a plan so we like to know how much is hotel going to cost, how much is airfare going to cost, how much is the coaching fee going to cost, and so forth. So we were looking for some exact figures and exact information. Now, this was at, I would say, the beginning of March. Probably not even like seven days into March. So she would be going to Summit May like 10th. So that's two months away. So that is not much time to save money and to not have a plan. So we listened and none of this stuff was set in stone. And if you know anything about cheerleading, it's if one person gets taken out of a routine, sometimes the entire routine has to change. So Kate has 17 girls on her squad they gave everybody the option to go or not to summit and if you do not know what summit is summit is like the super bowl of cheerleading it is the goal for us every year but there are three different types of bids there is a wild card bid which is what we got it's basically an invitation they don't pay for any of the fees you just get an invitation and you can attend then you will have to basically fight for your spot in the competition on day one. So you may not make it past that wild card round. Then their second type is an at-large bid. So at-large pays for half of your fees, and then you've got paid, which pays for everything. So we knew we were gonna go in with just an inv invitation only spot, which means we had to go and fight and work hard to get our spot in the competition and move forward. So, Knowing this, we had 17 girls on the squad, and after getting the opportunity to go, it was a sure thing that 10 of the 17 would go. Now, if you know anything about cheer, you know if seven people get taken off of your squad, that means that basically you have to learn a whole new routine, you've got a whole new stunts, new tumbling, and 
it's really intense. And they couldn't even really start practicing this routine until April because they still have their last cheer competition at the end of March, March 30th and 31st. So all of these things went into our head. There was like two or three different meetings that we sat through, we discussed it afterwards. So we did not give Kate an option. We didn't ask her if she wanted to go or not because it's our money and it's Disney World. I mean, if somebody's gonna pay for you to trip to Disney World, wouldn't you wanna go? So we took in all the information, we took notes and we made the decision to not put her name on the list to go. I think that's a lot of pressure for a child to go through in one month learning a whole new routine and she would probably have to spend multiple hours there. The likelihood that we would make it past the wild card round was slim because when you have 10 girls of 17 and you're learning a new routine and it, you know, they've been working on their routine right now since like September. So how many months is that compared to one month? So the stress, the money, the unknown, it just told us that this was not the right decision for her. We discussed it with her, she was okay with it, and we told her that we want her to go to Summit, but we want it to feel right. And this time, it does not feel right. So we told her that hopefully next year she'll get this same opportunity and we'll know 100% that this is what we need to be doing. So she was okay with it. And you guys, you don't realize how much, how much a rock that stress is until you make a decision and you're happy with it and it just feels like somebody released the rock from your chest. So I immediately felt so much better, better about it. So now you might be wondering, well, how did that affect your budgeting? We actually put us ahead on budgeting because what happened was <clears throat> we paid um, a minimum amount on the flooring on the 10th and the 25th of March and then we held the rest of it that we would be paying and we were like we're either gonna use this for Kate's summit trip or we're just gonna apply it all to the flooring so what we did when we made that decision is we went back and we took both of the amounts that we would have been paying on the flooring that we set aside for Disney and we applied it to the flooring now also Immediately when I thought she was going to be going, I started selling some stuff. You guys, I sold enough stuff that it actually put us a month ahead on our flooring. We did not think we were going to have our flooring paid off until the end of June because you know me, I've got it all mapped out. and It's in my monthly deluxe planner, which is not sitting here or, or I would show you. So I recalculated it, applied all of the sales to my um, flooring and it had us paying off the flooring on May 25th. So that is a month ahead of time. So I feel in my heart that that was the right decision. So, you know, I feel less stressed about it. And now we're a month ahead on our flooring, which means our budget is back to where it was before we had to take out money for Dallas. So you guys, I feel good about it. I wanted to give you a little bit of an update and it makes me feel so much better because I know that we are secretly planning that Disney trip for December that Kate knows nothing about. So <clears throat> once December hits and Christmas morning and she finds out, then she's gonna know another reason why we said no. So you guys, that is all for this video. I just wanted to sit down and chat with you a minute and kind of give you an update about the whole Kate's Cheer Summit trip and our budget and how everything is looking right now. So I feel good about it. I think we made the right decision and I'm happy to get the flooring paid off a month early. So it makes me feel so good to know we're at the end of the road with the floors. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you give this video a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up. It shows YouTube you're engaged and you enjoy my content and they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people on YouTube, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you all have a fantastic week and until next time.
Bye, you guys.